Well, hello there, folks. We are in the storage unit today, and today I want to talk a little bit about these things right here, these vent plugs that you can order for your Mercury prop. Now, I have a 24-pitch Tempest. Just so you know, these plugs have to do with the hole shot, getting on plane quickly. You can take a drill and drill out a hole in them, so that's a smaller hole. This is a bigger hole, and this is totally closed. My prop has three. One, two, three. It's a three-bladed prop. I have three plugs. So what I had to do, I noticed when I, I got my motor, my new motor, I didn't really notice it until I was in a tournament, I had fully loaded, live wells full, two people, and trying to get on plane, it just bogged down, it took forever. And I manipulated the jack plate a little bit, it didn't do much, didn't have much difference. So I did some research, got these plugs, put them all in, because the prop didn't have any. Now what happens apparently, and I've done some research on this and I don't know at all, but the exhaust creates a vapor bubble or barrier around the prop. And so when you go on plane, uh, it'll slip, the prop will slip and you'll feel it loses power, doesn't have enough power, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you gotta get all that right. I mean, there's so much to run in the boat as far as engineering. The pad, bottom of the boat in relation to where the prop is, these prop plugs, uh, all kinds of stuff. You know, in my old motor, you just set it and forget it and you could be fine. I go 74 miles an hour have to slow down because that just scares me. I'm too old now, you know, the heck with that. I don't need to be going that fast. But this has to do with more of the whole shot. I did some experimentation and I'll show you these videos and hopefully this makes sense. There's not a whole lot out there on the internet about this. So I wanted to be on the water and kind of show how many seconds it takes to get on plane with different variations of these. All right, so I've got a hydraulic jack plate. I got two marks, you can't really see the lower one because it's underneath the water but it's just like that one above it where's my finger right there and what I'll do is I'll take off and as I take off I will lower the jack plate slightly but we will see how this particular plug setup works I have one solid plug and two with a quarter inch hole in them okay this is me fully loaded boat two live wells full are you ready? Count the seconds. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five. Right there, it blows out. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do that again, and we're gonna lower the trim on the three count, okay? Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three is lowering. So it's a lot better that way. All right, now I'm going to put the trim. On that first hash mark that you saw, the higher one, and see how much longer it takes to get on plane. Okay? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Blows out on five. It still blows out. All right, now I'm gonna put the trim all the way down. Not the trim, the uh, jack plate. Keep saying trim, I think. All right, here we go, you ready? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009. So it takes nine seconds to get on plane if you don't start out with the trim a little higher. I think the best spot is in between the two marks and then lower it as we go up all right so let's see thousand one thousand two thousand three i'm putting it down there we go we're on plane the best performance i found is having a for me anyway a full plug one that's got a big hole i forget what that is i want to say that's probably I don't know, half inch maybe. And that's probably a quarter inch. So one big hole, one little hole. And what I can do 
is get on plane fully loaded and this is a tr 20 xhp and i can get on plane in about three to four seconds i have to have the jack plate jacked up about uh four or five inches start getting on plane for three seconds and then lower it and within another second i'm totally on plane uh, but I have to manipulate the jack plate a little bit, but I can get on playing a good four seconds sometimes three but um, That's what I found works best for me with this boat. So hopefully this helps you guys out So these vent plugs make all the difference in the world on the whole shot now I, I don't know about performance. I mean I've had this boat up to fully loaded both live wells everything 70 miles an hour. I'm sure I'm mean, sorry I lied 69 I'm sure I can have get more out of it. I'm really not worried about that. But anyway, I hope this helped you guys out. So get a, get a, a good pack of them. You know, if you have four holes or what, get two packs. Start drilling different size holes, and you just got to put it on the trailer, drill some more holes, pop them in, pop them out. One um, quick tip that I got was uh, taking a painter tool where you, you know, take the lid off the bucket, that tool right there. Um, you can, when you drill the, the plug, you can, if you want to remove it, you can put that thing in and pop it out because they are a pain in the butt to get out. Okay. All right. Good luck to you. Hope this helped.